How functional. Dead. Hey, it's Eddie. It's zero. This Why is... did they die at zero? Okay, I'm so sorry. Yes. Yeah. This, this is, is Loser's Quarter. So, VV beat Zamba. Let's go, VV. Yeah. So, this was seven. So, this is for fifth. Yes. So, a proper Pokemon Stadium match. Lucario versus yeah. Pokemon, Pokemon Trainer. Uh, giving them a little bit of the squirtle right. run down at low percent. I play Lucario. Lucario is like, really... He, the buffs in 3.1 make him a genuine, full-functioning character. And it's Excellent. great. Uh, but against Pokemon Trainer, uh, the main worry about... Uh, one of, in terms of killing, is uh, of course Charizard anything, but that's like for the character. But Ivy's down air really makes it hard for the. It really forces Lucario to pick uh, creative angles. But without a doubt, the most frustrating Pokemon for him to deal with is Squirtle. The speed and the kind of like, rising nature of uh, Lucario's hitboxes, with the exception of Nair and sometimes down air. Well, Nair and Dare will make it really, really hard to hit Squirtle. On the flip side, Squirtle's made of paper. Yes. So at 90%, you can kind of just kill him sometimes, forcing switches. No. But that's kind of the Lucario. Like, I have a lot of aura, now you're scared. Yes, exactly. Or uh, Yeah, good punish. Yo, Charlie, he's not dead? It wasn't, it wasn't fully charged. Okay, that just makes sense. Uh, he's not. Yeah, no. forward throw doesn't kill in this game, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I was going to say that Squirrel kind of takes a niche that I've always considered Lucario very strong in, which is that at low percent, I'm going to hit you with a combo into a chase, um, provided that he doesn't have aura on him. So we see Vivi take the lead right now with a good amount of aura. I have seen far too many stocks where Vivi gets a good conversion or two. Okay, that's good. I mean, I, like yep. one conversion or one conversion in like a, a chase was 42%. Yes, but so. not only that, if he did that like once or twice, that can be an early stock, especially with a little bit of extra rage and aura. I've seen that way too oh, many yeah. times. Lucario is definitely a, uh, he thrives off having a stock lead. It's incredible. Like, how many tiers this character can jump. Like, he'll never be bad as long as Aura exists. Yes. He, as much as people like to complain about comeback mechanics and pretty much everything, um, they're still here. Yeah, and they're very strong, especially Lucario's. Yeah. All right. Ooh, another nice. No tech on that one, so we will chase. And they're very safe. Oh, he, he tried to... You're not dead. Okay. Uh, he tried to counter the Razor Leaf, and since Lucario's counter has a giant, has a homing property to it yes. on a very, very large range, that or that Force Bomb didn't kill, unsurprisingly. Um, so, countering projectiles is one of the main things Lucario does to get around zoners, and it is incredibly strong since it scales with aura, not the hit that is detected. So you yes. can counter a jab and get hit with 118% worth of aura like that. I did not know that. That's really interesting to know that his counter works that way. So that could potentially make it the best and also the worst counter, depending on where you it's are. It's also frame four. Uh, wait, a frame four counter activation? Frame four, no, it's, or frame, the four, it's frame four invulnerable, frame five counter activation. Uh, oh, that's pretty good. So it is a really good counter, but it also has like 30 frames of end lag if you miss. Yes. So like you take what you can get. Absolutely. <laughs> So we see Vivi uh, run away there that he doesn't want to get a meme out on this one. So one thing that really gets me, and I feel like you can agree with me on this, here, Charizard, yeah, he's dead. I was going to say, whenever he has Charizard out, all I can think of is that he's going to get clipped by an Aura Sphere because of how large Charizard is and because of like the tail, the limbs, everything. Yeah. The uh, Charizard is doable because you can, uh, Aura Sphere is a very large, very uh, malleable projectile in terms of its usage. Plus, his, Lucario's Nair is, quite honestly, one of the safest in the game. Yes. Like, it's minus two on shield. Like, Yo, we actually see a punish on that, though. We see a grab. Oh! Yo, no! Yo! Okay, he's still oh alive. Oh, my God. So I now was this, gonna... is, this, this is really scary. <laughs> you're dead. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's, that's got to sting if you're Vivi. You up a full stock, and then, like, Ivysaur and Charizard just kind of... He was at 58... Like going, he was at 58 going for the chase. Got double whipped. I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna go on a limb here. I'm not gonna say that stung, but it burned. It burned. It burned. It burns, baby. Pokemon <laughs> trainer. Oh boy. So, uh, what a comeback from Bankai. Honestly, really well played with 
the Charizard on it, that one. As much as, as easy it is to say, like, oh, uh, der her, Charizard, use the side B, those are very risky options, and Charizard in general yeah. is not someone that you can do things safely with. So it takes a lot of calculation to find what you want. Yeah, Charizard doesn't have many, like, outstanding moves, but the ones that he has are incredibly potent. F -tope being, F -tope having the sweet spot at the tip, and just being a very, like, a I don't think it's disjointed, but it is a wide-ranging hitbox that yes. kills. So and how strong. well spaced from Bankai at that to get him at the tip on the yeah. uh, neutral he, getup. He walked back and f to forward on the neutral getup that he seemingly knew was coming. Exactly. So now we're going on to yeah. the game two. Yeah. Uh, seeing pretty even. Yo, he jumps out of his parry punish. He absolutely had a grab off of that. I agree with going back to P... Ooh. All right, double parry. Very nice. I agree with going back to PS2. Lucario has incredible airspeed. So having more space to move is just handy. Trying to get the landing fair, which could confirm into uh, into either an up air or a back air, depending on D. Ooh, Yay! that was a hard ass read. That's gonna be a big problem for BB. Yeah. He's gonna have to make the stock lead come back soon. That's that's kind of a fault in Lucario as well. He's kind of linear in what his neutral game is, which is a lot of just I'm gonna land on you with an aerial. Yeah, it's like I want to land on you with an air. And now BB is very good about mixing up. He's got a lot of. All right, Chase. Yeah, Aura Sphere is the mix-up in and of itself, which helps his movement out tremendously. Yes. But if he's going on the offensive, you're probably going to see either a pivot cancel forward tilt, which isn't safe on shield, or an air, which is down air to into side B. It's still a thing, kind of. It's more of a mix-up now. So now, um, this is not too bad a position for Vivi to be in right now. He's yeah. Oh, going for the, the momentum. going for the back throw Aura Sphere. That is true. So at low percents. So it got you. incredible like and it's an incredible source of damage if you have all of the percent. Oh good chase. Not off stage, yeah. so that's not gonna kill. A powerful frame trap. We almost had the DI in or the air dodge. Oh in. he's just going for it. <laughs> Oh, but he, he used his second jump. That would have been an up air if he got if he had still had a second jump. But he yep. used it to commit to the B reverse in the first place. Yep. It's uh that is one of the places where I'm surprised we didn't see a release there for the percentage, but um, there. Nice. Like that. Very like nice. Like that right there. And once more, the ball so is in oh, so Vivi's clean. court. So now the work is on Bankai to try to get this kill and make something happen before he suffers trauma at the hands of Aura. Yeah, ca catching the dash in with the down toe. It is a, it is rather small, but it is a potent combo starter. Yeah. Nearly Ooh. dead, but not quite. Yeah, sour sitting up sour spot bear. I really like that use of the side B disjoint to uh, get himself back to stage. That's a really smart option. Yo, he just chased it. He's not dead. Not dead. Good to have corner. He could just eat something and die. No, okay, now, no, he's, dead. now he's very yeah, dead. The, the platform. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, All right, 87 this time. This is the same situation as game one. So, uh, and well, a 31 percent right there. Yeah, that's a good way to start it. Nice, good right. whip punish. That's very hard to get the exact space sometimes under pressure. Nice, good punish. He does know he has the grab there. Ivysaur's grab range, very good. Slow, but very good. Oh, yeah, he jumped above the Charizard. He can no. make it back just fine. He's looking for the back air. But since he crossed him up, he just went for the... Ooh, yep. he got him on the change! Got, nice. Caught the switch. I love that. I love watching good Lucario and, by extension, Vivi. He'll tell you he's bad, he's wrong. <laughs> Well, he's sitting at what? This is loser's quarterfinals. It's guaranteed fifth. Yeah, guaranteed fifth? Yep. I don't think fifth at Xeno, one of the stack, most stacked locals that I can possibly uh, think of in the entire Pokemon US. Trainer. Maybe even the whole Pokemon. world. Um, I don't think that's bad. I don't <laughs> think that's bad. No. Plus, uh, I believe if he gets this wind here, this will be his highest placement in ultimate. Maybe. I think, uh, hasn't Vivi gotten... He might have gotten fourth before. I, I know he's, he's never placed like in top three. I think he's gotten a fourth placing here before, but I could be wrong. He's been showing up lately, though. Yeah. He's been doing very he's, well for His first time on the PR was this most recent one. It's like he's been he's been moving, but I, I, think, I think he's got, like, nerves problems anytime he's not at Xeno. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, does he travel much? <laughs> don't think so. I don't know. I got you. So, oh, no. see, that was a cool little trick right there. Dropping down from the platform with the up air covers basically a jump or a fall down. Speaking of jump. Oh, uh, he's dead. 
Well, uh, I've totally lost my train of thought almost yeah, as too. fast as VB lost that stock. Uh, so we'll just move on to the next one. Bunkai looking pretty green light now. That was a little bit of... That wasn't a punishable Razor Leaf, but that was a... Okay, this is VB turn. I need to get a little defensive there. Two. 54. What? He wasn't... That didn't do 54, but... Ooh, good. All oh, right, enough, dead. enough, enough. Oh, I'm getting yeah, flashbacks. See, see, great angle right there. Let's go, Hangman. Nice subscription, dude. Thanks, man. Yo, thank you, Hangman. Shoutouts, man. I haven't talked to you since uh, DTN, I think. What's going on? What's going on? Uh, okay, yeah. He, he wasn't on the platform just yet. Charger. Oh, he... Yep, he wasn't having it this time. This is kind of the problem with Lucario and in this matchup is that since a lot of the Pokemon, with the since Ivysaur and Charizard both have really, really potent ways to like find stocks off of like either hard confirms, off of grabs, or off of just straight up reads, like it's it can be really hard for Lucario to kind of maintain aura if he doesn't have a lead already or if he's like it's it's a tricky it's a tricky setup. It's not impossible. Like Lucario is the master is the comeback character. Yes. So but he's just got a stock ultra. He's but just got to get his V trick. But now we're seeing what makes Squirtle frustrating and the fact that he's small and he has frame data that can counter a lot of what Lucario wants to do. Because mm -hmm. even Lucario is a close quarter combat character, but his frame data doesn't reflect that. His Nair is frame 10. His, uh, his... You know, I'm just going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I mean, this is, as we've seen, uh, yeah, very 93% doable. is like... Very, and, very and doable. No, this is scary a, for both parties. Yeah, this is an ideal percent for Lucario because he's not in danger of dying easily with good DI, but he is at a high aura. Yep. So he can put on the damage and live a couple hits. Ooh, okay. So I like that option right there with the dare to try to avoid the grounded hit on the upbeat, but doesn't quite get the spacing out. Ooh, waiting at the spot touch, and that's some quick percent. There's a dash attack. That's it. That was so close. Mm. It keeps... Charizard's uh, up smash significantly faster than Lucario's forward smash, but if he missed that up smash, he was dead. Was he? He was dead. No. He was at 60.